And we're moving down on our backs, soles of our feet together, knees out wide, starting to connect with the breath. I'll go ahead and ring the gong to start. If you do have a bolster or a blanket, sit up on it and draw your spine down as you walk your arms backwards. If you don't, then just move down onto the mat or onto the floor. And again, allowing your knees to fall open with gravity. Now, if this is too intense, you can also Stay with the soles of your feet on the mat, knees up, or maybe with each breath, allow your legs to fall open like butterfly wings. Wherever you are is perfect. Again, starting to connect with the breath, breathing in to a four count, holding to a four count and exhaling to a four count and as you breathe breathe in through the belly up through the ribs the lungs all the way to the tops of your throats and then exhale in the opposite direction from the tops of your throats down through the ribs the lungs all the way to your bellies as though you're wringing water from a washcloth, bringing navel into spine. Again, remember you can always draw those knees to center through the breath and maybe allow them to fall open again, opening up your inner thighs in Baddha Konasana. And let's begin. Inhale two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Again, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, thoughts or feelings that you may have, allow them to be sent out with the breath. And as you breathe, allow yourselves to go deeper and deeper into this state of calm, 
knowing that you are in control at all times. Connect with a personal intention for this practice. That intention could be physical, mental, or spiritual. And it could be for you or for someone you love. Again, perhaps set this intention for your child in spirit or your children in spirit, asking them to come in and help with this practice. Seal that intention with one deep inhale and one deep exhale. those knees and arms to center. Exhale as you roll over onto the right side in the fetal position. Remain here for a few breaths. And smile, it's Thursday. Using the strength of your arms, come up to a seated position facing the front of the room. Extend your legs, flex your feet. Again, you can be on a mat. You can also be on the floor. If you're on a bolster, move your hips up so that you're elevated. If you have a block, you may want to put the block in between your calves to place your forehead on as you move forward. You can also use that bolster or block to place on your thighs. Wherever you are is perfect. Flex your feet, sit up straight and tall. Shoulders are back and down. Inhale both arms all the way up. And then exhale as you fold forward. Again, reach, 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 reach as you do. Flat back as far as you can. And then when you can't go any farther, place your hands on either side of your calves. Inhale, halfway up, making space, Arda. Shoulders are back and down. And exhale, forward. Grabbing onto your toes, perhaps. Drawing yourselves in, chin to shin, and then just curl in. In Dandasana, staff pose. Again, you may want to have the block to place your forehead on. You may want to have your bolster on your thighs. Wherever you are is perfect. And again, calming our heart rate down. Breathing in and out. As you breathe in, find where there's resistance in the body. And as you breathe out, breathe that resistance out. And again, yin yoga works by opening up the fascia through the breath. Breathing is very important in every aspect of yoga. And this is what allows the fascia to open. It usually takes three minutes. So this is why we hold these yoga asanas for as long as we do in yin yoga. starting to have any pain. If you have any pain, pull out. Sit 
slowly inhale as we walk those hands back again. Exhale. <clears throat> as you bend that left knee, drawing your left heel in. Flex your right foot. We're moving into half dandasana. Inhale, both arms all the way up. And exhale as you fold forward. Hinge at the hips. Again, reach, 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 reach. This time we're going all the way down, chin to shin. And you may be using that block or your bolster or both. In half dandasana. Breathing in and out. A deeper stretch if this is something that you'd like grab onto the sole of your foot and drag your chin down towards your shin again don't feel like you have to wherever you are is perfect Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you bend your right knee, drawing it to your left knee, twisting to the back of the room. If you have your bolster, leave it there. If you don't, don't worry. Inhale as you place both hands on either side of your bolster or just on either side of the mat. Inhale first. Exhale as you walk them forward, coming down onto that right cheek, if this is in your practice. Again, don't feel like you have to. We're in a full body twist. We're twisting our hips, our spines, our shoulders, and our necks. It's also possible to be on that left cheek if this is too intense. Again, breathing in and out, opening your hearts, dragging them down towards the mat, towards the floor. Slowly inhale as you walk your hands back again. Exhale as you twist to the front of the room and extend your legs. Sit up on your bolster if you have one. Again, draw those shoulders back and down. Inhale first. Exhale as you bend your right knee, dragging your right heel in. Inhale, both arms all the way up. Exhale, pull forward, hinge at the hips. Reach, 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 reach. This time going all the way down again, chin to shin, and then just curl in wherever you are is perfect. In half dandasana. Breathing in.
again, allowing the fascia to open through the breath, feeling that you can move farther and farther for forward through the breath. Good job. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you bend that left knee, drawing it to your right knee, twisting to the back of the room, placing your hands on either side of the mat. Inhale first. Exhale as you walk your hands forward. Placing your torso on the bolster, placing that left cheek on your block if this is in your practice. You can also have your right cheek if this is too intense. Again, we're twisting, engaging our hips, our spines, our shoulders, and our necks. Breathing in and out. right obliques, releasing any toxins that you may be holding on to. So again, you can be here. You can also be here. You can also be here on the outside of that left knee if this is in your practice. Wherever you are is perfect. But for the deepest stretch, place it on the outside of your right knee. Twisted Dandasana. Inhale back to center. And exhale as you open up to the left. And again, 
Drag that right elbow on the outside of your left knee, if this is in your practice. Make mudras with both sets of fingers. Maybe place your elbow in the middle of your knees or on the outside of your right knee. Wherever you are is perfect. And smile again. It's Thursday. It's a beautiful day. about 35 minutes so it's important that you have a pillow also if you have a bolster or a block to put in between your knees that's always helpful but you can also place your feet as wide as the mat and knees come together because in yoga nidra we're going to have our knees bent so that it takes the pressure off your lower back. And again, a blanket to cover yourselves with. And I ask everyone to turn off their uh, video if you'd like to. You don't have to. If you don't know how, it's not a problem, but it's sometimes helpful. None of you are filmed. It's only me, so it doesn't matter, but I turn mine off as well. I'm going to go ahead and change the playlist first to our Yoga Nidra playlist. And <clears throat> I'll give you about a minute to find all of the props that you need. And again, <clears throat> this is a guided meditation. You don't have to do anything. <laughs> And as I say, I'll go ahead and turn off my video as well. Nidra. You should be lying on your back, 
with the knees slightly bent and supported. Make sure that you are warm enough and that your position is one that will be comfortable for the duration of the practice. It is best that you remain still during Yoga Nidra so that both your body and your brain have a chance to fully relax. However, if you become uncomfortable, please feel free to change position. Allow your eyes to close and keep them closed until the practice has ended. The practice of Yoga Nidra is a practice of yogic sleep that will guide you to the hypnagogic state, a state of consciousness between wakefulness and sleeping. Try to remain awake by listening to the sound of my voice. You will be asked to move your awareness to various bodily sensations, emotions, and images. Try not to concentrate too intensely as this may prevent you from relaxing. During this meditation, please use and absorb what you need in the moment and leave the rest behind. If the mind becomes overactive with thoughts and worries, just come back to the sound of my voice. Become aware of any sounds you can hear in this moment. Nothing else but what you can hear without strain. Begin to focus on the most distant sounds that you can hear. Let your sense of hearing radiate outward searching out these distant sounds and following them for a few moments. Move your attention from sound to sound without labeling the source. Gradually bring your attention to closer sounds, to sounds outside your home, to sounds inside your home, to sounds inside the room. Without opening your eyes, visualize the four walls of your room, the ceiling, the floor, your body lying on the floor. Visualize your body lying on the floor, the position of your body, your clothes, your hair, your face. Become acutely aware of the existence of your physical body lying on the floor. Become aware of your natural breath Become aware of your natural and spontaneous breath that moves in and out of your body. The natural breath flows in through both nostrils. Notice the feeling of the breath as it comes in and out of your nostrils. There is a sense of coolness as you inhale the breath. Follow this feeling into your nose, your sinuses, the back of your throat, into your lungs.
there's a sense of warmth as you exhale the breath. Feel this warmth on your upper lip as you breathe out. The natural breath flows through both nostrils during the inhale and the exhale. Allow your breath to become longer and slower. Take a long, slow inhalation, followed by a longer, slower exhalation. Make your exhale even slower. Notice the slight pause after the exhale. Slow inhale. Even slower exhale. And pause. Feel the urge to breathe in, bubble up inside of you. When you need to ex inhale, please do so. Long, slow inhale. Longer, slower exhale. And then pause where the body is neither breathing in nor out. Continue breathing in this way. Now go back to the natural easy breath, releasing any control over the inhale or the exhale. of yoga nidra begins now. At this moment you should make your sankalpa or intention. The sankalpa should be a short positive statement in simple language. Try to discover one naturally. Please mentally state your sankalpa clearly and with awareness three times. Sankalpa you make during Yoga Nidra plants a seed in the fertile soil of your mind to bring about transformation and healing. Also, say to yourself, I am practicing Yoga Nidra. I am awake and relaxed. We will now begin a systematic journey of sensory awareness throughout the body. You will move your awareness to different parts of your body as soon as you hear them named. Please say the name of the part to yourself and feel that part of your body, but do not begin to move any part. The practice begins on the right side. Right hand thumb. Second finger. Third finger. Fourth finger. Fifth finger. Palm of the hand. Back of the hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, 
armpit, waist, hip, thigh, knee, calf, ankle, heel, sole of the foot, top of the foot, right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, left hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, waist, hip, thigh, knee, calf, ankle, heel, sole of the foot, top of the foot, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. Now go to the back of the body, right heel, left heel, right calf, left calf, right thigh, left thigh, right buttock, left buttock, lower back, middle back, upper back, the entire spine, right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, back of the neck, back of the head, top of the head, forehead, right temple, left temple, right ear, left ear, right eyebrow, left eyebrow, middle of the eyebrows, right eye, left eye, right nostril, left nostril, right cheek, left cheek, upper lip, 
lower lip. Both lips together. Chin. Jaw. Throat. Right collarbone. Left collarbone. Right side of the chest. Left side of the chest. Upper abdomen. Navel. Lower abdomen. Right groin. Left groin. The pelvic floor. The whole right leg. The whole left leg. The whole right arm. The whole left arm. The whole face. The whole head. The whole torso. The whole body. The whole body. The whole body. Now imagine the whole body becoming light. As though your body could float away from the floor and toward the ceiling. The head is light and weightless. The limbs are light and weightless. The torso is light and weightless. The whole body light and weightless. You are rising higher and higher away from the floor. Imagine your body becoming heavy. Feel the heaviness in all parts of the body. Each part is becoming heavier and heavier and heavier. The head is heavy. The limbs are heavy. The torso is heavy. The whole body is heavy. So heavy that it is sinking down into the floor. Begin to concentrate on the space in front of your closed eyelids. Imagine before you a transparent screen as though you were at the movie theater. The screen is as high and as wide as the eyes can see. Concentrate on this mind screen and become aware of any phenomena that manifests within it. Colors, patterns, and light. Whatever you see is the manifesting state of your mind. Continue your awareness of this space, but do not become involved. Practice detached awareness only. If any subtle images make themselves known, simply notice them without directing the images. If thoughts occur, let them come and go. 
but continue watching the dark space. Continue this with detached awareness. Again, we're going to do a short meditation to connect with our children in spirit or with our loved ones in spirit. So now breathe naturally as we begin this meditation. Imagine your child or your loved one sitting opposite from you and that a white light connects to you heart to heart. Connect with the love that you share. Allow this feeling to fill your body. Next, slowly focus on the frame. May I be happy, healthy, and whole. Feeling the warmth of this love filling your body. Breathe naturally as the light connects you heart to heart. Again. May I be happy, healthy, and whole. Feel yourselves bathed in the warmth and light of your child's love or your loved one in spirit while repeating these phrases silently. May I be happy healthy and whole. Remember to breathe naturally as the white light connects you both heart to heart and continue. May I be happy, healthy and whole. Next, Imagine the white light between you becoming a circle of light around you both. The light is bathing you in the warmth of the love that you radiate out to your surroundings and out into the universe. yourself and your child or your loved one radiating this love out into infinity. May we be happy, healthy, and whole. May all things be happy, healthy, and whole. As you continue to experience the warmth of your child's or your loved one's in spirit's love, turn your attention to your body and notice your feelings and sensations. Recognize that your child and your loved one's in spirit are with you always filling you with love and leading you towards healing. Go back to the natural breath. Breathing in and out.
And then from here, we're going to start <clears throat> to wake up from our yoga nidra. It is time to repeat your sankalpa. Please repeat the same statement made at the beginning of the practice three times mentally now. Finish with the line, I am whole, healed, and healthy. Come back to the feeling of your breath flowing in and out of your nostrils. Maintain your awareness of breath and at the same time develop your awareness of your physical body your body is relaxed and lying on the floor. Feel the container of your skin and the clothes and props that are touching you. Notice the heaviness of your body as it rests on the floor and take your awareness into all the points that are touching the floor. The back of your heels, your thighs, your buttocks, your shoulder blades, your arms, your hands, and your head. Do not open your eyes yet, but visualize the surrounding room. Imagine where you are in the room and the other objects that are around you. Lie quietly until you feel ready to move. Start by slowly moving your hands and feet, but take your time, there is no hurry. When you are sure that you are fully awake, gently open your eyes. Please roll over to the fetal position and remain here for a few breaths. Take your time. Again, there is no hurry. And then when you're ready, use the strength of your arms to come back up to a seated position. Legs are crossed, hands are at Anjali Mudra, heads are bowed in honor of your practices. From the place deep in my soul that I know to be pure and true, I bow to and honor that same place that resides within each of you. Thank you so much for coming to practice yoga with me on this beautiful Thursday. Have a wonderful rest of the day and I will see some of you tomorrow and others perhaps on Thursday. Namaste. And again, before we end, I'm going to go ahead and ring the gong to end practice. And then I'll go ahead and stop the recording. If I put my glasses on first, I have to do that first.